Hi guys and welcome back to Canada Top to Bottom. Today's video is our first one which comes in a post-COVID restricted Canada. Yesterday, the Canadian government removed all remaining travel restrictions on those entering and leaving Canada. So you no longer need to show proof of vaccination while traveling. You don't need to use the Arrive Can app and you don't have to wear a mask when traveling on a plane or train. Honestly, this change feels long overdue. I went to Italy earlier in the summer and when arriving in the EU, I didn't have to do anything COVID related and there were no masks required in airports or on flights within Europe. It basically felt like the pandemic never happened. However, on the flight to and from Canada, I suddenly had to put a mask on having been sitting maskless next to my fellow passengers in the airport before boarding the plane. It all felt a bit arbitrary, especially seeing as there had been virtually no sign of COVID affecting everyday life in Canada for the previous few months. We both obeyed all the COVID related rules when they were first in place and got vaccinated at the first opportunity. So we're not going to go on a rant by any means. But when day to day life was essentially back to normal and yet you're restricted in how you travel, it's pretty annoying and feels unnecessary. Canada has a vaccination rate of over 90%, so we just felt that once everyone in the country had had the option of getting vaccinated, the restrictions on our freedom weren't really achieving anything. Covid is clearly here to stay and it's going to circulate indefinitely, but unless we go back to lockdown measures, it feels like personal responsibility and choice should now be the key, rather than government enforced rules. Covid remains a big issue in Canada as it does around the world and it's still worth taking seriously. 15,000 Canadians have died of the disease this year already, which is more than in the whole of 2021. The key change is that the more deadly variants seem to be less common, and so the COVID survival rates are now massively improved compared to earlier in the year. Furthermore, once people have made their decision about whether to get vaccinated or not, it doesn't really feel like it's the government's place to continue restricting Canadians' freedoms. There have been illnesses before which are transmitted in a similar way to COVID, but everyone seemed to tacitly accept that by going about everyday life, we were at risk from contracting them. Before COVID, nobody considered wearing a face mask in order to cut down the risk of getting flu. We went about our lives freely and accepted the risks that come with being around other people. COVID changed that. And today marks the stage at which we're returning to our old ways and accepting that the risk of catching COVID is worth it if we get to live as we choose. All of which makes this quite a momentous day. Two and a half years since COVID came into our lives, the last travel restrictions around it have been lifted. We'll continue getting our booster jabs as required and we urge everyone to do whatever they think is necessary to feel safe and keep others safe around them. But from here on out, it appears that the details of that will be for every individual to decide for themselves. There is talk of restrictions returning if they're required, but the impression we get is that the public no longer support restrictions and that the government would have to provide a very strong argument in favour of any COVID related rules if those rules were going to be followed by the population. Everyone seems ready to move on and take personal responsibility for the safety of themselves and those around them. So what do you think? Should the government allow people to travel as they wish? Or do you think that asking people to wear a mask on a plane is a reasonable request if it stops the spread of a disease? Or are you just over the whole thing and ready to talk about something else? Regardless, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hit subscribe before you go and we'll see you next time.